Welcome to the First Influencer Channel. I'm Paige, where we talk about the latest in the world of sports and bring you the latest interview with sports personalities. My name is Jide. Do stay locked on the channel. There's so much juicy stuff I'd like to share with you. I taught the Arsenal ground and there's a lot to see. Emirates Stadium is the home of Arsenal. Arsenal is unarguably one of the most successful and beloved clubs in England. Arsenal Football Club has always been an attraction down to the members of the public. Tradition-wise, the result speaks volume for them, in addition to winning 28 major domestic trophies. Arsenal holds the record for the longest unbeaten streak and the longest run in top flights of English football. In the early days, Arsenal FC started life as a work team named Dial Square in 1886. The workers were blacksmiths that built cannon, which is the reason for which the club is being known as the Gunners. Shortly thereafter, the club turned professional and changed its name to Woolish Arsenal, becoming a full-fledged member of the Football League in 1893, the first club from the southern part of England. Few things we need to know about the beloved club Arsenal. You know Arsenal are the only team still in existence that has never been relegated. They have been in top flight English football since the 1919 to 1920 campaign. They were awarded a gold version of the Premier League trophy to commemorate the achievement of going on beaten on the way to winning the title during the 2003-2004 season. Asen Wenger, the Arsenal former boss, was the first foreign manager to lift the Premier League title when the Gunners won in 1997-1998. It had never happened in the history of English football. Do you know that it was not until 31st of January 2010 that Arsenal's game against Man United was the first broadcasted on television in 3D. They are given the name Arsenal and the nickname the Gunners because they were formed by a group of cannon makers that is cannon used in the battle at the Woolish Arsenal in 1886. Arsenal hold the record for the consecutive clean sheet in Championship League. Back in 2006, when they reached the final, they managed 10 games and 995 minutes without conceding a goal. That's a great record, if you ask me. Do you also know that Arsenal holds the record for the most players from a single club that represented England team back in the 1930s? In fact, seven Gunners represented England on their campaign against Italy in a friendly match in 1934. The great legend Tony Adams only played during his career for Arsenal. Arsenal have done the league and the FA double three times 1971, 1998 and 2002. Arsenal have won 13 first division titles. The Gunner first won the League Cup in 1987. Do you know that Michael Thomas will always be an Arsenal legend for scoring at Anfield, that is in Liverpool, and dying second to snatch the title from Liverpool? The Latin meaning for the club's crest, Victoria Concordia Crescent, which simply means victory comes through harmony. I have a feeling some of the Gunner fans may not be aware of this. Thierry Henry is the club's all-time top scorer with a record of 228 goals. Arsenal have won the FA Cup 10 times. Arsenal ladies were founded in 1987. David Seaman, Arsenal great, an England ex-goalie, played 564 games for the club Arsenal. Lowest attendance at Ivory was only 4,554 and it was against Leeds United on May 5, 1966. In 2003-2004, Arsenal went the whole season unbeaten and were nicknamed 
invisible. Do you know that Arsenal's first Premier League game was a loss at home to Norwich City and it was 4-2. Biggest away win in Premier League was the 6-1 pounding of Everton on the 15th of August 2009. Thierry only played 78 Championship League games for the Gunners. Arsenal's first Championship League games was a 1-1 draw against RC Lens in 1986. Arsenal's biggest humiliating Premier League defeat was the 8 2 thrashing by Man United in 2011. Between March 19, 2000 and October 31, 2009, Arsenal went 20 games unbeaten against their arch rival Tottenham Hotspur. Dennis Beckham scored 120 goals for the club. Arsenal's biggest win against rival Ototia Mosfor was a 6 1 thrashing in March 1935. Ray Palo, another Arsenal legend, was nicknamed the Romford Pele. Umar Kokanu of Nigeria will always be remembered for his 17 minutes hat trick against Chelsea at the Stamford Bridge in 1999. Bruce Rioch signed Dennis Beckham from Inter Milan. Asen Wenger was appointed Arsenal manager since 1996. Manchester City paid 25 million to sign Togo's Emmanuel Adebayo from Arsenal. Do you know Arsenal have beaten both Milan teams, Inter and AC in Europe at the San Siro? Inter 5-1 in 2003 and AC Milan 2-0 in 2008. Highest attendance at the Emirates was 60,161 versus Man United in November 2007. Then in 1998-1999 season, Arsenal played their UEFA Championship in Wembley Stadium. Some 3,707 attended against Len, exceeding the previous record. As at the time of this video, this is the Arsenal current squad. The goalkeepers, Bernard Leno. Aaron Ramsdale, Otto Okonkwo. Defenders are Cedric Suarez, Kieran Tenney, Sied Kalinski, Nino Travers Gabriel, Rob Holden, Calcom Chambers, Pablo Mari, Ben White, Tikerio Tomoyasu. The midfielder Mohamed Eleni, Thomas Patti, Anslim Mitterland Niles. Albert Sambi Nukonga, Danet Shaka, Emily Smith Rowe, Martin Ode Gada, Forda Bukayo Saka, Nicholas Pep, Gabriel Martinelli, Patrick Emrick Bayeng, Polani Balogu, Edin Nketia, Alexander Laketsi. Of course, this squad is susceptible to change, which is influenced by the transfer window where players move around from one club to the other. The first Arsenal player to play in the World Cup final were Emmanuel Petit and Patrick Vieira, the current Crystal Palace man manager. In 1998, both were French nationals. Arsenal played at Ivory, the old ground and home for like three years before they moved to State of Art at the Emirates Stadium in 2006. Arsenal colours are red and white, but they have one kit featuring yellow, purple, blue, maroon, black stripe, green and gold as their primary colour over the years. Thierry Henry won two league's time titles and three FA Cups while playing for Arsenal. Lastly, remember once a gunner is always or gonna thank you for joining first influencers page and channel where we talk about the latest in the world of sports we talk sporting arenas which include stadiums and sports grounds just for you to know the sports arena and clubs you support or you follow as the case may be whenever we can we bring you interviews with sports personality and stakeholders until next time it's bye
Thank you.